We interrupt this cartoon for a special report. <gasps> Someone found my keys. Kent Brockman at the Action News Desk. A massive tanker has run aground on the central coastline, spilling millions of gallons of oil on Baby Seal Beach. Oh, no. It'll be okay, honey. There's lots more oil where that came from. One of the major events I remember growing up was the Exxon Valdez disaster. The Exxon Valdez, for all you youngins out there, was an oil tanker that ran aground in Alaska's Prince William Sound on March 24, 1989. I'm gonna rescue a baby seal, and then I'm gonna save an otter. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, but all the animals have already been reserved for celebrities. The vessel spilled 11 million gallons of crude oil into the Sound. The spill was one of the largest environmental disasters in U.S. history, with far-reaching impacts on the local community, wildlife, and the environment. I've got rocks that need washing at home. It was so impactful, The Simpsons spoofed it on one of its shows. Oh, there's something unsatisfying about scrubbing these rocks, and I think I know what it is. But aside from disillusioning Lisa from the romanticism of environmentalism, the event played a pivotal role in shifting the mindset of industries, encouraging the industrial sector to prioritize sustainability. Carrying that ideal forward, I'll share with you an exciting new motor that has made strides in excelling in harsh environments while putting sustainability at the forefront. But first, let's check out our premier product highlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The ST10 Plus Stepper Drive is a high-performance micro-stepping drive designed for controlling two-phase bipolar step motors. Powered by 24 to 80 volts DC and delivering up to 10 amps per phase, it features advanced current control, anti-resonance algorithms, and torque ripple smoothing for more fluid motor operation and reduced noise. It supports pulse, direction, velocity, and standalone cue programming via RS-232. CE approved and Rojas compliant, it pairs seamlessly with NEMA 23 and 34 step motors with digital and analog I.O., robust protection features, and compatibility with applied Motion's ST configurator software, the ST10 Plus Stepper Drive is ideal for precise, reliable motion control in industrial applications. Check them out today at mauser.com or by clicking the link in the description below. Driving stepper motors with four, six, and eight wires can be challenging. To simplify it, we present David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. Well, as we all know, motors come in all shapes and sizes. Stepper motors in particular are very interesting because they have more leads and they can move incrementally in both directions. But the driver boards that we use for them can be pretty complicated. There's a lot of terminals, but they come in four different categories. The first set of terminals is for the power input. Now we power stepper motors with a lot of different voltages. So we'll often see these with anywhere from 18 to 80 volts DC, or sometimes more or even less, depending on the size of the motor. The next set of terminals is the terminals that go out to the motor itself. Stepper motors have often four leads, six leads, or eight leads. So we have to get the driver board that's suitable for whatever motor that we're using. The next set of inputs come from the controller. Now it's important to remember that a stepper driver board is not a controller itself. It needs some sort of processor to send it the right signals to tell the motor what to do. These usually consist of a direction and a step. The direction, being a positive or negative voltage, determines clockwise or counterclockwise, while the step allows us to move incrementally. Some driver boards use a clockwise step input and a counterclockwise step input. The signaling is similar, but the programming is different, so we need to be aware of which one we're using. The final category of inputs is a resistor, and that resistor is designed to limit the amount of current that's sent to the coils. The data sheet for the motor will tell us how much current is required for the motor coils, so we have to choose the appropriate resistor between those terminals called a current limiting resistor. Stepper motors are really interesting, and they can be pretty intimidating to use because of the complex wiring but we need to make sure to choose the right wiring, setup, and the right motor and motion control for a project, and stepper motors can do some pretty impressive stuff. Andy, back to you. Thank you, David. Once at odds, sustainability and efficiency are moving closer to perfect sync, like Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. 
One product that is leading the way in this newfound relationship is the WEG W51XDB Flameproof Motor Line. The motor is designed for demanding industrial applications, emphasizing sustainability, efficiency, and safety. It delivers power from 132 kilowatts to 800 kilowatts, with plans to expand to megawatt capacities by 2025. Featuring an innovative cooling system, advanced end shields, and compact frame, the W51XDB maximizes power density while minimizing space and costs. Exceeding IE4 efficiency standards, it is certified for hazardous zones and integrates with WEG's Industry 4.0 Condition Monitoring System for productive analytics. By lowering emissions and boosting energy efficiency, the W51XDB supports industries in achieving sustainability and operational excellence. Hey, that does it for us. Thanks for watching and be sure to click the link to our other exciting educational videos and we'll see you next time.